In a power play move to sell more tickets, organizers of the Pan Am Games have announced Kanye West will headline the closing ceremony. The massively successful and sometimes controversial artist was in Canada just last week to perform at Ottawa's Blues Fest. CBC's Yelena Adzik is here with the story. So is it all about money? Is that why the, the organizers tapped Kanye West for the job? You're so cynical, Suhana. <laughs> You're always looking at the bottom line. Yes, it's all about money. <laughs> Come on, who are we kidding here? It's about the eyeballs and it's about the buzz. And when you look at a tweet that leaked originally and got the word out, you know that Kanye Kanye does have the ability to drive that buzz. I'm going to give you a look at that. First, we're talking about NBA star Anthony Bennett. He says, just overheard that at Kanye West will be playing at the closing ceremonies for the Pan Am Games. And then you had the official word, because of course, it just went like wildfire all over the internet. Uh, Kanye West confirmed. Look at him. A lot of people joking, Suhanna, that this picture, that, uh, wow, he seems really happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> the picture that they chose, perhaps not the most judicious one, but there you have it. So listen, Kanye West, when we talk about the ability to generate buzz and ticket sales, ticket sales are already up for the closing ceremonies. And he, this is a guy who sold more than 21 million albums. He's worked with everyone from Jay-Z to Alicia Keys to Janet Jackson. And of course, he has these appearances on the reality show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Babies popping out all over the place. <laughs> and not to mention that, you know, whether he's yanking a mic away from Taylor Swift or spontaneously jumping into a river during a performance in Armenia. This is a guy who knows how to not just stir up controversy, but to stir up those ticket prices. That is what's happening now, and really that's what it's all about. But of course, Suhanna, some people are not so happy. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the fact that he really is not a Canadian, right. and it's happening on Canadian soil. I'm gonna give you a look, just a sampling of a couple of tweets we picked out very recently. This one says, disappointing. How does this show Canadian slash Torontonian pride? He doesn't quite seem to fit the spirit of the games. Got another one for you here. At Drake would have been a better fit for performing at the Pan Am closing ceremony, seeing as he's actually from Toronto. And then a lot of people kind of make an even joke saying that, well, can we arrange that Drake takes his mic away from Kanye West when he starts to, quote, perform? So, yeah, a lot of people on social media expressing their displeasure, but that is not exactly what's being seen on the ticket sales because, as I say, they're going up. Right. And there are going to be those who share the stage. Drake is not on that list, but who is? Yeah, that's right. And, you know, it is entirely possible, Susanna, maybe they did contact Drake and they maybe. couldn't. Who knows, yeah. right? They're not going to tell Kanye he's choice number two, but maybe <laughs> maybe Drake wasn't able to for scheduling reasons, right? But we do know Canadian Serena Ryder will be on that stage. She's going to open up the closing ceremonies, which is fitting because she opened up earlier with this great song that she wrote as the sort of the theme song for the games. And then it's also worth noting that they've got another American on the bill, Pitbull, who again is one of those that's very, very popular in terms of albums sold and in terms of buzz generated. So the tickets I right now... I Toronto banned Pitbulls. Oh, it's too <laughs> sorry, that was bad. You completely caught me off guard with that one. Yes, this particular pit bull is not bad from Toronto. He's going to be playing. You can buy tickets online. They're going to run you around $90 or so. So there you go, Kanye, doing what he does best. Stir us all up.